This is the simple digital voltmeter. We use this around the shop a lot. This is, this is probably the tool that we use more than any other. We're offering it to you guys uh, to replace complicated digital multimeters. Uh, we, we hear from a lot of customers who don't have one of these or they're, they're not willing to get one. Digital voltmeter is going to replace that. In the kit, it comes with the voltmeter with a two-prong connector that'll plug directly into our batteries, uh, two-prong to Anderson's adapter so that you can plug it into a variety of other batteries, and an Anderson quick set that will let you make some of your own adapters. We also offer a variety of adapters on our website. Uh, I would definitely start with a male XLR adapter, which will let you plug into your battery's charging cable where you normally plug the charger in. Um, but we also have adapters for lithium batteries, lithium chargers, uh, Anderson's extension cables, so that you can hook up a long cable to your digital voltmeter, and uh, battery terminal connectors for testing individual 12 volts, uh, and test probe connectors, which will um, let you hook up to just about anything. Uh, you should be able to find most of these on our website. Call us up if you need something special. We might have it. So, the place to start with the multimeter is you can plug it directly into one of our batteries. You line up the arrows, plug it right in, and you get a reading. The basics of the reading are, this is a 36 volt battery. You should see voltages on the batteries for a lead acid battery of 2 or 3 volts above the nominal rating for the battery. So this is a 36 volt battery, we're getting 38 volts, that means it's just about fully charged. It's, uh, it's probably doing alright. And for this 48 volt battery here, to demonstrate the point, we plug it in, we get almost 51 volts. So again, we're a few volts above the rated nominal voltage. Imagine that we were getting a, a 46 volt rate voltage reading on this 48 volt battery. 46 volts on here would be completely depleted. 100% depleted, battery's totally empty. If we got 34 volts on this 36 volt battery, again, completely depleted. Sounds like a really high number, 34 volts. You know, it's a lot more than one volt, but it's totally empty. If either of these was reading their nominal rated voltage, 36 or 48, then again, that's, that's pretty close. That's like 10% of, of your battery. You're, you're just about all the way done at that point. So you wanna see a couple volts above the nominal rated voltage. One thing that we can do with this is uh, if we wanna test a charger, here we have a lead acid battery charger. We plug into the battery with the digital voltage meter, we see 38 volts. Now when we hook up our lead acid battery charger, you'll see the voltage climb pretty quickly. So now we're up from 38 to 41, and we're going up. We're still going up. The light's red. We know that the charger is functioning correctly. It's moving a lot of voltage into the pack, and we have a very simple way to make sure that the charger is working. We can also test the, uh, the bike in a pretty simple way. So let's say you have a mysterious problem. You turn the throttle, and the bike doesn't go. Display comes on, but bike doesn't go when you turn the throttle. Or you turn the throttle and the bike just stutters. Or, or it only goes for a few feet, something like that. It's a very hard problem to diagnose. It usually means that you have trouble with the battery, though. And the way we want to test that really simply is we take our male XLR adapter, we plug it into the charging port of the battery, and then we take our two-pronged Anderson's adapter, plug it into the digital meter, and now we've got a way to hook the digital meter up to the charging cable on the battery. So now we have our voltage here, we have 39.7. Interesting to note, we see a lot of surface charge on this battery because it just came off the charger. Voltage is going to continue to drop. Anyway, what we'll see when we turn on the bike, you'll see the voltage drop by just a couple of volts. With a small lead acid battery, you should probably see one to two volts of voltage drop. You'll see more if it's a uh, battery that just came off the charger. Notice here that we steadied out though at 36 and a half volts. If this drops straight down to 34 volts and then the wheel cut off, then you would know where the problem is. 
Notice how it recovers when we let off, the voltage comes back up a bit. So if you pull the throttle and it drops down four whole volts, stops running, you get stuck down at 34 volts and then it bounces back up after that and then turns back on or something of that nature. You've diagnosed your problem as a weak battery. The battery either needs to be balanced by charging or you've got a bad cell or the battery's simply worn out from, from long periods of use or from sitting uncharged. So this is the simple digital voltmeter. And thank you guys for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.